Um, do you know which is the most dangerous spider in the world? Spiders, often the stuff of nightmares or the subject of fascination, are an incredibly diverse group of creatures. With over 40,000 species, each one is unique, exhibiting behaviors and characteristics that could either send shivers down your spine or leave you in awe. These often misunderstood creatures play a vital role in maintaining the balance of our ecosystem, acting as both predators and prey. Their intricate webs are a testament to their engineering prowess, while their venom, a subject of much dread, holds potential for medical breakthroughs. Yet there's no denying the fear they invoke, especially when we start discussing the most dangerous among them. The mere thought of a dangerous spider is enough to make your skin crawl, isn't it? Well, brace yourself because things are about to get even more interesting. Stay tuned as we count down the top five most dangerous spiders in the world. Starting off our countdown at number five, we have the yellow sack spider. This tiny terror is found in various regions worldwide, from the United States to Japan. It's a nocturnal creature often found in homes, fields, and woodlands. Its name comes from the small silken sack it weaves for shelter during the day. The yellow sack spider is a pale straw yellow color with a body length of about a quarter to a third of an inch, but don't let its small size fool you. This spider is known for its potent venom, which, while not typically life-threatening, can cause significant discomfort and skin damage. Symptoms of a yellow sack spider bite may include redness, swelling, and a blister that forms at the bite site. These symptoms are usually accompanied by a general feeling of malaise or nausea. If left untreated, the bite can lead to necrotic skin lesions that require medical attention. If bitten, it's recommended to clean the wound with warm soapy water and apply a cold compress to reduce swelling. If symptoms persist or become severe, seek medical attention immediately. Antivenom is not typically used for yellow sack spider bites, but antibiotics may be prescribed if an infection develops. While not the most lethal, the yellow sack spider still packs a punch, but there are even more dangerous spiders to come. At number four, we find the infamous brown recluse spider. If you're someone who likes to rummage through old undisturbed spaces, you might want to think twice before you do so. Why? Because that's where the brown recluse spider loves to hide. These spiders are found primarily in the Midwestern and Southeastern parts of the United States. They're quite small, usually about the size of a quarter, but don't let their size fool you. They are named for their color and their shy, reclusive habits. Now, let's talk about their bite. A brown recluse spider's bite is something you'd want to avoid at all costs. It's usually painless at first, which makes it all the more dangerous. You might not even realize you've been bitten until hours later when the bite site starts to redden and form a blister. The venom of the brown recluse is necrotic, which means it kills the cells and tissues around the bite area. This can lead to a condition called necrotic arachnidism, where the skin around the bite starts to die and decay. If left untreated, this can result in a deep open wound that takes months to heal and may leave a significant scar. In rare cases, the venom can spread in the bloodstream, causing systemic reactions. These can include fever, chills, rash, and muscle and joint pain. In very rare cases, it can even lead to kidney failure or death. But don't panic just yet, not all brown recluse bites result in necrotic arachnidism. In fact, many bites heal without any serious complications. It's important to seek medical attention if you believe you've been bitten by a brown recluse spider. While the brown recluse's venom is potent, it's usually not aggressive towards humans unless provoked. So, the best way to avoid a bite is to avoid disturbing their hiding spots. Its venom can cause significant damage, but believe it or not, we still have three more spiders that are even more dangerous. Our number three spot goes to the redback spider. This infamous arachnid is known for its distinctive appearance. They have a glossy black body, with a prominent red stripe running down the upper side of its abdomen. Females are significantly larger than males, growing up to about one centimeter in body length. The redback spider is native to Australia but has since spread to other parts of the world, including New Zealand, Japan, and parts of Southeast Asia. They favor warm, dry climates and are often found in urban areas. These spiders can set up shop anywhere from logs and rocks to your garden shed or even inside your shoes, so always check before you step. Now, let's talk about their venom. 
The redback spider's venom is a potent cocktail of toxins, including a unique component called alpha latrotoxin. This toxin affects the nervous system, causing a variety of symptoms. A bite from a redback may result in severe pain, sweating, rapid heartbeats, and in some cases, more serious symptoms like vomiting, abdominal pain, and tremors. If you're bitten by a redback spider, it's essential to seek medical attention immediately. While the spider's venom is potent, an effective antivenom is available and has been used since the 1950s, with no recorded fatalities since its introduction. However, it's always better to be safe than sorry. If you're in an area known for redback spiders, it's a good idea to wear gloves and check your shoes before putting them on. Despite their potent venom and somewhat fearsome reputation, redback spiders are not usually aggressive unless threatened. They're a part of the intricate web of life, playing their role in controlling insect populations. Despite being third on our list, the redback spider is not to be taken lightly. But brace yourself for the top two most dangerous spiders. Coming in at number two, we have the Sydney funnelweb spider. This spider, native to Australia, is infamous for its aggressive nature and potent venom. It's a large, robust creature with a body length that can reach up to two inches. They are usually glossy and darkly colored, ranging from blue-black to black to shades of brown or even plum. The Sydney funnelweb spider is a master architect, known for its complex funnel-shaped web from which it derives its name. These spiders prefer humid climates and are often found in forests and woodland areas, but they can also be found lurking in suburban gardens and houses, especially in Sydney, Australia. Now let's talk about why this spider is ranked so high on our list. It's all about the venom. The Sydney funnelweb spider's venom contains a compound known as robustoxin, which can be deadly to humans. It's worth noting that the male's venom is five times more potent than the female's. This venom affects the nervous system, causing symptoms like sweating, tingling sensations, high blood pressure, and in severe cases, it can cause death. If bitten by a Sydney funnelweb spider, it's crucial to get to a hospital as quickly as possible. The venom can cause severe illness or death in as little as 15 minutes. Thankfully, an effective anti-venom was developed in the 80s, and since its introduction, there have been no recorded deaths from a Sydney funnelweb spider bite. Despite its deadly reputation, the spider is not out to get you. It's more interested in its primary diet of insects, lizards, and frogs. But if it feels threatened, it won't hesitate to defend itself. It's always a good idea to give these spiders the respect and space they deserve. The Sydney funnelweb spider is indeed a formidable adversary, but there's still one more spider that tops them all. And now the moment you've been waiting for the most dangerous spider in the world is the Brazilian wandering spider. The Brazilian wandering spider, scientifically known as Phonutria, is a true marvel of the natural world. These spiders are large, with a leg span reaching up to six inches. They possess a distinctive feature, a pair of red jaws used for hunting and defense. These spiders hail from the tropical South American regions. They earned their name wandering due to their nighttime hunting habits. Unlike most spiders, they don't use webs to catch their prey, but prefer an active hunting approach. The real danger lies in their venom, which is among the most toxic on the planet. Their venom contains a potent neurotoxin, which can cause severe symptoms in humans. The effects of a bite from this spider can range from initial pain, cold sweats and goosebumps, to more severe symptoms like high or low blood pressure, rapid heartbeat, and in rare cases, even death. Immediate medical attention is crucial if bitten by one of these spiders. Anti-venin exists and is highly effective if administered quickly. The Brazilian wandering spider's venom is so potent that it has drawn the attention of the medical community, with research ongoing into its potential uses in medicine. So there you have it. The Brazilian wandering spider takes the crown as the most dangerous spider in the world. Let's recap the spiders that made our countdown. We started off with the yellow sack spider, a critter found globally, infamous for its necrotic venom. Then, we moved on to the brown recluse spider, a North American native known for its violin-shaped marking and necrotic bite. Next, we ventured into Australia to meet the redback spider. 
This relative of the Black Widow is recognized by its red stripe and potent neurotoxic venom. We stayed down under to encounter the Sydney funnel web spider, a creature with a bite that can be lethal to humans, especially children. Finally, we journeyed to South America to face the Brazilian wandering spider. This eight-legged terror holds the title of the most venomous spider by the Guinness World Records. Thanks to its deadly cocktail of toxins that can cause severe reactions in humans. Remember, while these spiders can be dangerous, they also play crucial roles in our ecosystem. So, respect them from a distance and stay safe out there. If out.